guys welcome to my channel I'm here today to show a Dollar Tree haul um, I'm so excited it's gonna be my very first haul video never done one before first one kind of a whole bunch of stuff I think I have a total of 61 items 61 items um, so I have a lot of items that I that we purchased today my fiance and I we just moved into a new apartment so we have a lot of things that we were missing that we needed um, didn't want to spend a lot of money on and we wanted we we're actually going on our we're on our debt free journey so we're trying to save as much pos much money as possible and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to save money. which involve a lot of Dollar Tree hauls a lot of Dollar Tree findings um, affordable things that you need every day for everyday living for the kitchen bathroom bedroom so yeah, there's a lot of things that I couldn't find that I need but or there were but I didn't really think the quality was gonna be there so um, we just bought some things at, at Walmart so yeah so if you guys are excited to see what I bought stay tuned stay throughout the whole video I have my whole shopping bags here um, yes it's shop right because here in Connecticut they ban bags so no longer they no longer carry plastic bags only um, the paper bags the brown paper bags which are 10 cents a bag so so now when you go to the stores you have to bring your own bag so we have we have about 20 of these just because you know no stores give you plastic bags anymore which is okay so let's get started um let's see so i'm gonna go i'm just gonna pull out whatever i can find and i did get duplicates of stuff some that i found and everything that i found at dollar tree was a dollar everything that we everything that we found a dollar nothing Nothing more than a dollar. Everything was a dollar. So the first things I want to show are these these pans. Um, these are like cooking cooking pans. This one specifically is for pizza. I got two two of them. Um, just in case if we want to do some, if we want to make some pizzas, I can I can use this and whatever else. Got these for a dollar. I also got these cookie trays also I got two of them for a dollar which you know if you want to do cookies um, or put on some do some french fries next I have here are these kitchen towels which are really really cute I got a got a couple this one is my favorite it says blessed and thankful it's probably gonna be backwards but really cute um, <clears throat> also got this pattern this pattern here this pattern and um I don't know how these got in here yeah I already bought these a while ago so and I think these are these are a dollar at the, at the dollar store I got these I think at Walmart for a pack of I think two for like five bucks so dollar dollar for two and then two or three for five bucks like everything that I put aside over here I don't have something to put it again so it's the next thing is this what is this vinyl top liner so this is where you put in your drawers on your shelves um just to keep it I guess nice and nice and clean they're washable stain resistant um, protects not adhesive non-slip so you just basically put these in your drawers and they are surface surface vinyl so they keep your drawers nice and i got them in like a marble kind of pattern i don't know if you can see a little bit marble like a mar marble pattern so that's cute because um, <clears throat> we do have some in our drawers but they're a little bit a little bit tacky and they're kind of outfitted so next i got hangers these come seven in a pack um we do have a large closet that i was running out of Hangers. I don't know how durable they're gonna be, how strong they're gonna be, but they're definitely bigger than the ones that I have in my closet. And they also, I don't want to say that I'm OCD, but the ones that I have already are black and these are white. So a little OCD. Next, I have this. I tried, wanted to try these bath bombs. 
These are Sherry Blossoms. There's also, they come in one pack, they come with three, three of these bath bombs. I'm gonna try them out. Funny thing is my fiance one of these. So these are not originally for me, they're for my fiance. So we'll see how, we'll see how those, those work. Um, next thing I got, we didn't really need this because we have two brushes, but we wanted to, we wanted to see these. They're two brushes, four in a pack, nothing special. They also come with the cover for the two brushes, but I guess just extra if somebody wants, if people come over, stay over, visit, um, we have extra, extra two brushes. You know, funny thing is my mom will, I learned that from my mom. She always has extra of everything. Just in case that her guests stay over, she has extra. So, thanks mom for that. Um, next thing is washcloths. So, just regular regular washcloths. One comes with two, which is nice. So, again, for a dollar. Um, then I also got these Bounty Essentials. Essentials. Um, these are paper towel. I got like three of them for uh, three of them, so a dollar each. This cool, this cool thing. I don't really know. It's a soap dispenser brush, so this can be good for. I mean, you put the soap, the soap in here. So let's see. Oh, okay. So they had this thing here. You just open, pops open. You put the soap in here, and I guess the soap. Oh my back hurts. The soap will come in here, and then it's it's a, it's a sponge at the end. So I bought two of these, so it's going to be good for the dishes. Um, I think I saw one YouTube video that the girl uses this to wash her, um, her trash can. So that's cool. Do that. I bought these these things um the scrub buddies so basically these are little these are rougher uh, they come with two in here so it's good for pans that you can't clean with the regular the regular um or no excuse me this is good for like this this the food that gets stuck on the pans the plates whatever and it's hard to get out this is this is great for that so got that and it comes with two. I also got an ice cream, an ice cream scoop, scooper from Cooking Cooking Concepts. So yeah, an ice cream scooper. I also got this bubble bath for my son. It's Paw Patrol. So I wanna I wanna try to give him a bath and see if this works well. Um, I just wanna see the ingredients with vitamin E. Okay, well that's cool. okay yeah so want to try that for a dollar and this is 16 ounces not bad i don't even know how it smells hmm. it smells pretty good actually it smells like medicine yeah it smells like what does it smell like it smells like like nyquil it smells like NyQuil. I don't know. So I might I might have to test this out on me first before I test it out on my son. So maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And then the rest are just I have some stuff in here, but they're they're duplicates of what you guys saw. Are sponges. Regular sponges. I don't they come with the quantity of six. I don't think these are gonna be great quality, so I mean, I mean, maybe that's why they come with six. But for a dollar, you can't go wrong. So we'll see how these hold up. Um, I don't think that they're gonna be that great, just cause like looking at them, they're a little stiff and yeah, it doesn't look like it's great quality. But for a dollar, and there's six of them, you know why not? So next thing. So next thing I have, I got this sponge, um, this uh, wash sponge to clean my car. I like to wash my car a lot. I'm going to do a car tour video as well just because, you know, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with cars. 
So I got this big sponge. I got two of them actually. I don't know where the other one is, but I got two of them. So basically it is wash a wash sponge. Um <clears throat> and it gives you instructions. Um it gives you tips. Yeah, so I got this for a dollar. It's a pretty big sponge. I got two of them. And then I also got foaming tire shine, also. This. So it's good for the tires to help it, um, the tire shine, make it look nice and nice and clean. It's a dollar. I won't put these on my tires right now. I'm probably going to use old tires and see how this works. Just because my tires are brand new and my wheels too. So I don't want to damage them. I mean, I'm not going to put this on my wheels, but it does go on the tires. So when I'm spraying and it happens to go on my wheels, I don't know if it will damage it, but... You know, I'm probably going to try them on old tires and see, see if they work, see if this works. But then again, it's a dollar, so um, couldn't go wrong with it. I hope it does work well, because for a dollar, that's not, that's not bad. But, you know, that's a really great price. It's by Driver's Choice. I mean, it looks pretty legit. It looks, you know, it looks cool. I mean, it looks nice. So, we'll see, we'll see if this works, um... If it does, if it does indeed work, I want to go ahead and also do a washing video, like how I wash my car, how I clean my car, also car tour. So stay tuned for that. It is becoming winter, so it is going to be a little cold outside. So hopefully I can do it before, um, before then. It is getting chilly here where we are in the East Coast. So hopefully I'll be able to do one as soon as possible. I was going to do one today, but tomorrow's supposed to rain, so no sense in me washing my car. Tomorrow's supposed to rain, and I think the next, this whole week too, but yeah. So, I got that. I got two of them. got two of those. Next things that I got are... Alright, more cooking stuff. So, I got this Betty Crocker. This is a pack, a paste... Pasting, pasting, wow, pasting. Um, so this is like a spatula, or yeah, or no, this is like um a kitchen supply. So basically, you can use this when you're um, putting butter on something, um, covering up, you know, seasoning some steak, some chicken. You know, this is a great tool to have for a dollar. It's by Betty Crocker. Yeah, so for a dollar, so let's see how this goes. Um, <clears throat> I also got these suction cups hooks as well I want to put these on the wall in the bathroom so when we hang up towels or um, I was also thinking of putting this in our closet to hang up our I got two of them so two come in one pack which is nice Let's see here and then so I was also thinking of putting this in our closet so we can hang up our um, our broom our mop Let's see if this this works. So there's two. So one comes in one pack comes with two. So hopefully this comes out nice. Again, a dollar. Hopefully it works. Got two of them. Um, next thing I got these power clips. Um, so these are good for when you wanna you know if you have a bag of chips that you open that you need a that you can't seal back. You just put these clips. Again, five come for a dollar, which is nice. Um, so I have I have a three year old so he likes to snack a lot so that will come in handy. Next thing I got is a a bath sponge. I'm obsessed with bath sponge sponges. I have like a, a ton of them. I got this one for a dollar so another one added to my collection, which I like the color. I love blue, so got this for a dollar. I got this little cute little dustpan and, and brush, this little cute thing. I got this for my son so I can teach him how to clean. He can copy mommy and he's at the point where he wants to do everything that I do. So, ew, there was a hair in there. Ew. But this is really cute with dollar or this can be used for those little areas or like a quick sweep that I don't have to go pick up the, bring the big sweeper or the vacuum so this is cool but definitely this i bought this for my son so he can <clears throat> so he can copy me and watch me so i can teach him how to, how to so next thing i got i got this really cute popcorn popcorn hold her the uh, holder yeah popcorn 
thing fish i thought this was really okay popcorn tub i thought this was really cute so for having movie night um we have people over we can put things in here like it doesn't have to be necessarily just for popcorn i can put this for chips too but i thought this was really cute it's really big um and i think it's yeah i think it's adorable so for a dollar you know can't go wrong it's one of those those findings that you don't really need but it's cute so you get it anyways but you know for a dollar why not so that's cool that's really cool cool finding so next i got are these let's see what are they called i got these condiment bottles so i got these right here they come in a pack of two which we bought these because we can put oil inside of it or vinegar um oil or if you want to put vinegar i guess no not really we can put oil olive oil in here so it helps us be able to squirt out um i can also put whatever else i want to put in here you could whatever you want to put in here which is really cool like ketchup mustard or you can do your own concoction of ketchup and mayo you can put it in here but yeah so that's really cool so that comes with two um next thing i got is a little little spatula pasta server yeah so which is cool it's also betty crocker um yeah betty crocker come with one like, uh kitchen supply utensils you know for when i'm taking out the pasta or you know for pasta salad or whatever you're, you're scooping this is this nice to have i like this one because it has the the bristles at the bottom i really like this one so it really holds and not only that it has the where you're let's say you want to you have beans me yeah, i love beans so i just i'm able to scoop it and then it's able to drain the water or whatever and then you know it's good to go so next thing so next thing i got was a just a peeler regular peeler betty crocker i like that when they have them on display they have this blue tape on it so you don't get cut so just a simple simple finding dollar something that we need so when we peel our potatoes carrots you know so forth we have that next thing i got is a spatula so this is for cooking if you're baking a cake frosting so forth dollar next thing i got was a salad tong a salad tongs got these pretty, pretty good um <clears throat> i like a lot of salads so definitely something that i needed for sure it makes life so much easier on picking up the salad so definitely something that i needed also again another spatula i don't know why we have two but this one here this finding i didn't mm, um i really don't know i think my fiance picked this up it's a hamburger patty press so i guess it press oh okay okay i see so you put so you put the meat in there so i'll open it up so i can show you guys all right so it comes two pieces so i guess you just put your patty in there your ground beef you put take the top and you press it i think that's how it is and then it should you know make it into a circle but i don't know um this is something that i'm gonna have to try out and see if it works uh, a couple more things next thing i got is a non-scratch um sponge so it just with the handle I think it comes comes loose or not so this is good for for like washing the dishes um washing the dishes washing the tub washing the tub washing the sink um so yeah that comes in handy so definitely something i think i have one already but it doesn't hurt to have two so and it's for a dollar got that and then i got these lunch bags these paper bags here right here these paper bags so they come 40 40 counts in here so for a dollar cannot go wrong i don't really know what i'm gonna really use this for 
maybe when I pack lunches for myself, for my fiance, um, our son too. So I don't think we're going to be using this too much, but maybe we might. But it's always good to have have this just in case. Just got these cute bowls. So I got two types I of bowls. I was hoping that they would have more of these. This marble, marble looking one. My family actually bought these for decor when it came to like a DIY for, I can't remember if it was for my sister's birthday or my mother's birthday, her 50th birthday. I think it's for my sister. I don't remember, but they they used this as a bottom of something and put like a, a, a plate right over, I believe, I think. But these are really, really cute for a dollar. Um, for cereal, spaghetti, rice and beans. Definitely needed bowls because we didn't have any bowls. And I definitely wanted something that's not glass. Just because we do have a three-year-old or a two-year-old. He's about to turn three. And I don't want him to get hold of a bowl that's glass and he can break it because we've already had one plate break since we've been here and we've only been here for a week and a half or two weeks but it's always good to have bowls also i got this this also this other bowl this style this is a regular plain white bowl pretty cute and i got i think four so i got four four of them of these and then i got two what else and I think that is it. Yay. I think. Oh, let me put it away. So that concludes my haul for today. It was, I definitely wanted to record um, me going shopping, showing you guys my Dollar Tree. But today is a Saturday and it was beyond packed. Not only was it beyond pack, but since it is the holidays, it's October, Halloween's coming up, our Dollar Tree is a mess. No matter what day it is, no matter what time it is, holidays, it is always a mess. It is hard, that it's hard to find things in there sometimes. The aisles are very tight. I'm kind of jealous because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of these YouTubers who film Dollar Tree, when they go into the dollar store, film what they're buying, it just looks very 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 nice and clean and organized but my dollar tree from where I'm, where i'm from is it's not it's not nice and i feel like the the years that go on it it gets worse so i really wanted to record going in there and show you guys my experience but again it was very busy in there so it was constant bumping into people constant trying to not being able to fit in the aisles with the shopping carts it was a little bit difficult and a little bit stressful. I was hoping it for it to go a lot smoother than what it did. Um, and hoping to find a little bit more. Because I did see a lot of YouTube videos where there is a new craft section. In ours, we don't have that. And whatever we have there is not really, not really that well stocked. There was a lot of boxes all over the place. I guess they, they're trying to do stocking. But... Um, it's not really working. There was a couple aisles that had boxes everywhere, so you weren't able to go in and out of them easily. So I wasn't able to record the experience, but that was my plan. I really wanted to, but hopefully next time I'll, I will be able to record that for you guys. Um, this is a fun little haul that I first time doing. I'm so excited that I think everything that I bought here. So my whole total for today, I bought 60, 61 items. And everything came out to be $64 and some change. Um, so originally just with that, I mean obviously you have to pay taxes. So it was $61 for everything plus taxes, which came out to be like $64. So I think taxes like was like $3 and some change, but which is not that bad. Pretty, pretty cool. If I would have went to the, the standard Walmart, Stop and Shop, CVS, uh, CVS to buy these things, the prices would have been... It would have been tr twice the amount if you know since me going to dollar tree um what else sorry i changed my position because mm -hmm. my back is really hurting um if you like these videos give me a thumbs up comment down below your favorite dollar tree finds if you want to see more videos like this please let me know um now that i have our we have our own place i'm able to do fun things and record and record my decor i kind of want to go into D diys also for like what i'm going to do for the house we're a little bit we're still moving in so 
a lot of things that we're trying to set up and and get to pull and please subscribe to see more videos i will be coming out with a car tour and also a um how i detail my car so keep stay tuned for that and yeah i'll see you guys next time